it's becoming a bit of a theme of our interviews this but i'm going to start by saying it another pinch me moment in the life of derek beaumont a lad from a council estate in little holton cutting the ribbon to open a store here in your hometown yeah it's a bit bizarre isn't it really uh, it's been a year of them um it's great to see such a brand in our town as well though um, you know, because of late, it's all been about things out in the suburbs and shopping centres and kind of town centres losing their identity, but they're important to a lot of people. So uh, it's great to see Alan and Barrett invest in, uh, in our town and, as well as in our club. It's a store that we've just refitted. We've been here for many years and uh, obviously it's the start of our partnership with Lee Leopards uh, and we've had some of the players and obviously Derek here to open the store. So an exciting day. It is a relationship, isn't it, really, that goes hand in hand at a rugby league club and a... And a brand like Holland and Barrett. Yeah, 100% it does, yeah. We've just been in there now looking at all the products and lads already saying about how this stuff's going to help us on the field and in training. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to working with them. Yeah, work hand in hand. Um, and, you know, also, you know, we're, we're linked in there with David Lloyd, uh, fitness centres as well. So I think the three things combined, you know, we can promote not just rugby league, but sport and fitness in general. You can do it in many ways. And then, you know, just promoting that healthy lifestyle. People are more interested. I, I always go a lot of what my kids do. And, you know, they want these kind of uh, supplements and things and, and want to look after their health now and you know it's not obsessive it's just you know it, it's curving a lot of us wait you know i was certainly in my 40s before i started thinking ah, i need to look after my body after damaging it for most of my life as young people do um but no i think now you, the younger people are getting smarter about it obviously we've got all the sports supplements but we've got a range of products whether that's food supplements to help any of the wellness needs and uh, yeah i mean we have a lot of sports people that uh, shop with us and obviously now we've, we're going to have the Lee Rugby players shopping with us as well. So, And there's no secret is that it? it's a massive brand, it's a real coup for the club isn't it bringing someone like this, is it a testament to how the club's grown in the last few years? Yeah I think it just shows that how, how we're recognised and, and respected as well I think it's more important because you know when, you, when you're a, a national brand and, and it's quite senior it's it's kind of important who you choose as your partner. So for Holland and Barrett to specifically choose us uh, as a brand to partner shows the respect that they have for us. And I think, you know, they share a lot of our values in you know, they promote healthy living. Um, I've been a customer of theirs before they um, started sponsoring us. So, you know, I, I'm quite into the Solgar brand of, of multivitamins and various things and look after myself with stuff like that. Um, so, you know, I think the more we can get that message out and obviously our sports people use that as well. So, yeah, it's a big, big brand and uh, I hope we can really grow with them and uh, keep a partnership for a long time. Lee Leopards is integral to Lee as a town and um, clearly in the last few years you've had um, some success last year being a Challenge Cup winners which is a huge thing for the town but I think it's more than just the rugby it's what you actually do to help people in the town uh, everyday people and Holland and Barrett is all about health and wellness we're trying to help people add quality years to life and it just feels like a really natural partnership. So first year, let's see where it goes. As well as a club sponsorship, you've also taken a player sponsorship with Jack Derbyshire. What brought that decision on? Yeah, so it's a player that I know. Um, it's a player that um, I've seen uh, grow. Um, and obviously with his move to uh, Lee, uh, the opportunity presented itself. So yeah, we wanted to support him and yeah, let's see, see how it goes. I'm very grateful for that. And it's a great opportunity to work with a brand that's promoting health and wellbeing to, to this community. The opportunity to work with them was something definitely couldn't say no to and yeah, like I say, I'm looking forward to that and yeah, extremely grateful for Anthony and all his work that he's done with me. In sponsoring Lee, you don't just get Lee and the players, you get Derek as well who came down and cut the ribbon, a leopard print ribbon no less. Yeah, leopard print ribbon, leopard print, I'm surprised he's not in his suit today, um, but yeah, I mean what a character, but actually what a man as well in terms of what he does and what he gives back to the community. Uh, and just a great normal guy with a great personality, so actually first time I've met him today and um, yeah. Yeah, I really like him. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I, I've always said you get out of a relationship what you put into it. Um, and so far, Holland and Barrett probably been the most proactive uh, sponsor I've worked with in all the time I've been uh, involved in rugby. You know, they're, they're very, very proactive. Um, they bought into the brand little, t you know, I, I always talk about attention to detail. That's, for me, is a great attention to detail, down to the scissors being looking like, you know, good quality gold scissors and uh, leopard print there and a good presence and the COO um, getting down as well um, you know showing uh, you know for the staff in there who were from Little Old Lee um, that'll be quite a, a thing for them to have that presence in their store so yeah it's been a good morning.
And your mission for the season now is to get Anthony into a leopard print jacket by the end of it. Yeah, I don't think he's up for that one, but we'll see. You know, uh, if we can get him in the box and uh, get a few beers down him, we might get a picture with it uh, on him, I'm sure. But uh, no, the, you know, the, the, the fully bought into it. So uh, I'm sure there'll be some fun to have uh, along the way. I'm not sure you'll see me in a leopard print jacket, but we've had that debate with Derek. Uh, we'll see, we'll see.